Hey guys, we're gonna have some fun with today's video. We're gonna use ChatGPT for niche ideas and we're gonna validate them in Google Keyword Planner. Now, I don't know if you guys remember Hamish from Income Stream Surfers, but he's been absolutely killing it on YouTube. He's an SEO professional uh, as, as his day job, so this is right up his realm of expertise. We're gonna actually lean on him a little bit for help with the uh, initial approach where we get a niche and we validate it using some of these AI tools and Google Keyword Planner. Then we're gonna go create a simple but effective design based on market research. I'm gonna walk you through how we do that as well. Last, I wanna show you a trending product that you can sell right now using Awkward Styles. I'm gonna show you what that product is and how we can list it in our Etsy shop. So let's get to it. So like I said, we're gonna have some fun with today's video. We're gonna start off by getting an assist from our friend Hamish at Income Stream Surfers. Of course, I'm gonna to link to his full video that we're gonna be referencing in the description. I hope you guys check it out, and if you find it useful, give him a subscribe. He's been killing it lately with a lot of the chat GPT and AI-related videos. Of course, this is what he does professionally, so he's more qualified to speak to it. But let's check this out. Forget, so let's do camping, but I don't know what people take camping, so I'm gonna give chat GPT a prompt. Okay, so let's just try this prompt right here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so we asked ChatGPT a list of potential camping gear. So he chose camping as like the high level niche, but instead of us just saying, oh cool, we'll just do camping shirts. No, we're gonna drill down within the camping niche, look for sub niches, of course there's plenty, and try to find one that we can roll with here for this video's purpose. Now he's gonna feed it into Google Keyword Planner and use actual search volume from Google uh, and by the way, check out his video if you want to learn how to use Google Keyword Planner. He walks you through it in the beginning. So check it out. It worked exactly as I wanted it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write best and then tent and then four. And then I'm going to hit enter. And each of these will most likely be a good article. Okay. So let's make this a little bit bigger here. Okay. Yeah. You can see already best tents for, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Best tents for families. Uh, best tents for camping, obviously. Okay, but what, what I really like to do is I like to click on three month change and I like to go down, although some of these are probably really good. So he's using like more recent data by looking at the delta of uh, change and I guess it implies it's looking for improved search volume over the last three months, probably relative to its average uh, search volume. So lightweight tents for bike packing is probably insane. That's a really, really good keyword, I guarantee it. So actually... So how about that, guys? What do you think? Bike packing? I don't know. If you guys have ever bike packed before, let me know in the comments, but I'm intrigued. I think we should do a little bit more validation uh, using some print-on-demand specific research tools and see if bike packing is worth pursuing. So over here on Podly, I'm just going to go to the uh, search bar and type in bike packing. I'll change the search uh, match to in title, and I'm going to hit search. Now, it doesn't have to have bikepacking like actually in the design. It could just be in the title or it could just be indexed on the word bikepacking. You'll notice that the average BSR is actually in the multi-million, which depending on what you're trying to accomplish with your print-on-demand business, the scope of what you want in the near term, you may or may not want to enter this niche. Me personally, with like my Amazon merch account, for instance, a niche like this that's not that competitive but makes of one to two sales a year. I mean, when I say one to two, when you get to the multi-millions, you really don't know. You can actually look at the more detailed view and you can look at the BSR history and see when they were making sales. Each one of those dips represents a sale. And so they're clearly making sales um, multiple a year. Like I personally see nothing wrong with this opportunity. This is indicative of the type of product that I built my merch business on, my print on demand business on, and my FBA business on. I never really swung for the fences. I mean, I have, but it's rare that I try to do that. I'd like to take a step back, be a little bit more practical with my niche selection, whether again, it could be FBA, print on demand, whatever, and just go for, you know, slow but steady, a uh, more realistic projectionable, projectionable, did I just make a word up? Um, where you're able to project sales in a reasonable fashion. So I'm not just jumping in and trying to rank on the most competitive keywords possible. Bike packing seems like a sub niche potentially of a cross niche, right? It's like we're, you know, hiking, backpacking and biking, right? <laughs> Something like that. Um, if it's only going to make me five sales a year, honestly, I think I'm okay with that. Now, if I just jump back over here to Podly, one thing that is standing out to me is that there aren't any text-only designs. You guys notice that too? 
Uh, I went to Etsy as well and bikepacking. I only typed in the word bikepacking. I didn't type in bikepacking shirt. So perhaps just to be sure, I can do that. Bikepacking shirt. It looks like there are a few products here, uh, but not too many. I think this could represent nice, consistent, uh, maybe one sale a month, one sale every other month. Why not? You know what I mean? I, I see nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm all about that. So now we're going to create a design. I'm going to jump on over here to Photoshop and show you exactly how I would actually do this, even if I wasn't recording a video. So in my little merch template here, just so you know, um, I do keep some like default stuff here, like like uh, just like I can enable these graphic layers if I want to or just turn them off. Uh, in this case, if I wanted to, I could say life is better with. I mean, I know I kept that as the default. I didn't I didn't like write that ahead of this video recording, but I could just say life is better with bike packing, something like that. Um, for the font, let's go Edmund texture. I love the Edmund texture and I think it actually is fitting for this video. Um, my head's blocking it. I'm going to move for a second. I'm going to reduce the amount of horizontal width here uh, between letters just to fit this all on one line. I think that that's fine. One thing about Edmund texture is that the uh, letters are pretty close or pretty wide. So I typically bring them closer together. Life is better with bike packing. That could be the first design. And I mean, I, I typically like to launch, you know, two, three, four, five at a time um, on Etsy or anywhere else that I'm selling. Just because it's like, while it's on my mind, I might as well, right? It increases the odds of me getting some visibility. So this might be one version. And notice, I already had the curve text like pre-written pre into here. I've done video tutorials on how to do this in the past. This is how, when I was doing research though, I initially thought about doing this. One line, text only, something like that. Just put a word that says bikepacking. Um, <laughs> I'll give you guys a little uh, vis a little hint of behind my private community. Every week I show a few of my designs that sold that day, the day that I do my um, weekly live stream. I also do weekly office hours on Fridays. Um, and guys, pretty much every single week I end up sharing at least one shirt that's just a one word design and it's text only. And at this point, everybody believes me that I actually do make, I think over 50% of my sales as just text only. So as ridiculous and simple as this may look, I'm telling you that like I built a business selling these sort of designs and I stick to my strengths. By the way, I may also then make a second version just, just so that we're being clear um, and do something like this, bike packing. I'm just making this up, right? Is my um, favorite hobby, I don't know. We're just making it up as we go, okay? Is my favorite hobby notice what i did there by the way even though it's still a text only design this is using um contrast of font size okay so when someone at a glance sees this design they see bike packing first and then if they want to look underneath they can see is my favorite hobby um i might even just like reduce the vertical space of that just so that it's a little bit less in competition with the bike packing at the top now that's as much as i wanted to cover i think on the design front now let's jump on over to awkward styles and i want to show you this shirt that has been increasing in popularity um, pretty consistently over the last few years and of course we have google trends data to back that up this shirt is called the as color 5001 um, first let me just prove it to you that in google trends and i'll zoom in a little bit um, you can actually see a pretty steady increase in interest in search volume on Google um, over the last few years. And again, on a relative basis, because okay, they don't give us the actual search volume here. This was a 22 uh, in terms of search volume on a relative basis in 2018. And today, as of recording this, it is a 65. So if you just kind of do the math in your head, 60, let's just make it 66, bump it up one, 66 divided by 22. This has tripled, <laughs> all right? This has tripled just based off of today versus five years ago in search volume so i think this could represent a nice opportunity sorry for interrupting i wanted to let you know that linked in the description you can find my free print on demand mini course that is completely new for 2023 if you sign up it'll help you get your first sale and down there you'll find a link to my print on demand facebook group i hope you'll join the community uh, and don't overlook this some customers when they look for specific things on etsy they don't just say shirt They'll actually type in the type of shirt they want. So if it's the AS Color 5001 and you're the only one offering it, that can be a nice way of setting yourself apart. Awkward Styles has it in stock and they have it in stock in, what is that? One, two, three, four, like 12 different colors. All right, so <laughs> there's definitely um, some potential here. If you have Awkward Styles Pro, it's gonna be $12.25. 
for fulfillment, which is a lot cheaper than 1375. I don't know why you wouldn't use pro, especially when you can get two months free using the code Ryan Hogue. I will link to awkward styles in the description and give you the code Ryan Hogue to get two free months. Now, all you have to do guys, by the way, this is one of my favorite things to share about awkward styles. They give you additional information like features down here. When you're creating your extra images for Etsy, don't, don't shortchange yourself. Like if you have more images, your listing tends to perform better. I'm sure there's actual data to validate that, but it's also just one of those subliminal things in a customer's mind when they are looking at an Etsy listing, the highest performing ones tend to actually like use a video, use multiple um, images. And if you don't know what to put in your images, well, number one, they give you mockups here. You know, you could add your design to that when you actually create your listing in awkward styles, which I'll walk you through in a second, you can add your design. They'll create the mockups for you dynamically. But you can also just take a screenshot of some of these uh, additional like features, care instructions. You can just screenshot them and make your extra Etsy images um, pretty easily. You could even work your Awkward Styles mock-up into the image itself. Maybe I'll just show you what I'm thinking of um, in a second after we get started with the design. So I'm going to open this up. I just clicked Let's Design. I already have my Awkward Styles account. I'm in my demo account right now. If you haven't signed up, I have the link in the description, again, with the code for two months free so you can save on fulfillment. Uh, and notice, when you go through this way from the product catalog, it automatically takes you to the mock-up generator with this product type selected. So it's a nice little like shortcut there because um, alternatively, you could like go to your dashboard here <laughs> and then you'd have to go back to the product catalog and find the product again. So um, they have a Let's Design button. That I just want to make sure everybody knows that's there. Uh, now, we could just add text if we wanted to. <laughs> like, we could actually use their... They have a little design tool in here, and we could just do our own version of uh, bike packing. I don't know. I'm just having fun with this, just to show you how easy this is to use. I've actually um, gotten a lot more familiar with the in-app design tool from doing print-on-demand jewelry that they offer. Uh, if you guys missed my videos on the jewelry, um, I can link to some of them in the description. It's another easy way to add design or add products to your shop that sell, except the message card jewelry sells at such a nice markup, like much higher than t-shirts in my experience. So if you're interested in making more money per sale, um, or if you're comfortable using like Etsy ads, that's a nice way of justifying the extra ad spend that might be required because the margins are significantly higher on average than like t-shirts. Um, anyways, let me show you. I'm going to upload our designs that we just created. So I uploaded the design and it's only going to take a second for it to pop up here in our library. So on the left hand side, like if you want to alternate or adjust the layers, of course, we didn't add anything, but uh, the text tools right here you can click add text. Awkward Styles has their own library as well of designs uh, that you can use. And they actually like used to have this set up where we could pay um, less than a dollar basically to use the designs and then the artists would get a um, credit. But now it looks like they're just there to use. So if you guys don't have any design ideas, that is the easiest, quickest way to get stuff listed in your shop. If you just opened a shop, like there's really no excuse. I mean, th the designs are pre-built and they look pretty nice. Uh, those distressed um, St. Patty's Day designs would, would do well, well right now. All right, so I'm going to click the bike packing design. Now, it is a white design on a white shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. And what you see over here, I'm doing my green screen point in the bottom left. Uh, I'm going to click select all dark colors. I love that they have those filters kind of pre-built. So I don't have to go and click like five times. I just click select dark colors and then they're already done for me. Um, zooming back up, I'm going to make my design bigger. Okay. And I like to vertically align my design. Now... It wasn't much of a design tutorial, but again, like when you come to my channel, just like you would go to another YouTube channel, um, a YouTuber's channel and like ex expect them to speak from their experience. What I like to do is demystify that you have to be a professional designer to succeed with print on demand. I know I already harped on the fact that simple text only designs actually do sell, but for real, like the reason I chose this one specifically, even though I showed you, we can make a couple variations pretty quickly is because I would, if there's no camera on right now, start here. I would start with just the one word. Because we went to Podly, we didn't see anything like that, right? We saw things that had the word bikepacking, but not, you know, not without the graphic. We went to Etsy, similar, right? We don't see just a simple one word t-shirt. And in terms of the pie of what we're competing for, I mean, using this as an indicator, we're looking at, you know, only a handful of sales a year based on these projections, maybe 10 sales a year or less. So it's not like we're projecting to lose a bunch of sales because we didn't spend an hour creating some crazy complex design. 
this is how I would go about doing it. If I made one sale a year, I'd be happy, truly. Um, so anyways, just like that, guys, I uploaded my PNG design. I probably could have used the text tool here at Awkward Styles. They do have a bunch of different fonts under there as well. I didn't really show you all the fonts, um, but I'm going to click create template up here. Just give it a second there as the template is creating. Oh, by the way, let me go back real quick and make sure that I um, didn't forget to. OK, down here, I'm going to hide myself. Don't forget under sizes, click select all. That way we're going to push all of the sizes associated with the various colors that we selected. And it looks like there's one other color here, army. I think that'll look good as well. So whoops, I keep zooming in. So I clicked create new template. This is going to save it in our awkward styles account as is, as we just created. And then I'm going to click upload product right here. And you can see it's got the demo Etsy shop that I set up with the demo account. I'm going to click upload and it's not going to push to our Etsy shop yet. It's going to take us right here to the pre publish state. Um, one thing to note, I typically like to use the flat mockup, but in this case, if you didn't notice, uh, the AS color 5001 is actually called a men's staple tee. So in this case, since it's being marketed as a men's shirt, I think it's, you know, in the rare example here, uh, it's probably okay to actually use a model that is male wearing that shirt. Okay. So I think that's okay. Um, you also get to choose like what color you want it to be mocked up on. Um, I'll go back to the army because why not? I think it's, you know, bike packing. I don't know. Invokes kind of the, the army colored shirt. It seems like maybe that's, that could work. Uh, additional mockups. Let's send that. We'll send the flat mark mockup and then the size chart here. Um, they always include a size chart. So don't forget, you can just click that tab and then select one of the size charts here. They have the imperial and the metric. Uh, I believe we want to use the metric, right? No inches. Sorry. <laughs> inches. I was just kidding. That was a test. All right. The imperial <laughs> for inches in the United States. Um, go ahead, set your title uh, rather than me take, you know, a bunch of time doing this. Uh, if you guys missed my my designs video from last week, by the way, check out their Fraser AI. This is a nice use case for generating an AI title. It can do the AI description with the next update that's coming uh, and it does tags. So, you know what I mean? That would actually be perfect if I had it ready right now. But let's just go ahead and say, you know, bike packing T-shirt in real life. I would spend a little bit longer writing that title out um, tags. Of course, we would use all 13 tags. We get up to 20 characters per tag. In terms of sections, um, you would most likely have a section for like your product type. So maybe you would say t-shirts or you could have a section for depending on if you're like a niche shop, you could say like outdoors and this would go in your outdoors collection, really however you want to structure it. Um, in this case, we already have a shipping profile from previous t-shirts that we've published from Awkward Styles. So we don't need to create a new profile. If you've never published through Awkward Styles yet though, check that box, create new shipping profile. They'll create the shipping profile for you, okay? Uh, occasion, I just skipped that, honestly. And then down here, I'm gonna click the box for convert prices to store currency USD. And when it comes to setting the price, uh, given that you know the fulfillment cost with Awkward Styles Pro is $12.25, we could get away with charging $19.99. Uh, again, with the shipping profile, that's gonna pass the shipping charge along to the customer. Um, one thing to note, not to get too complicated, but like sometimes the larger sizes, like 2XL and above, um, they may charge an extra like 50 cents for shipping. So, and the shipping profile is static. So that won't get captured by the, um, the shipping profile that awkward styles creates. It's not dynamic like that. So you would want to offset that with your pricing here. So let's just say if we're going to charge, and by the way, if you run a sale on your Etsy shop, don't forget to factor that in when you set your pricing, uh, anywhere in the range of 1999 to 2499, I think would be just fine. Why don't we just split the difference to like 2199, um, for each color here. Uh, come down here. By the way, we can also do this in Etsy if we wanted to. Um, there's multiple ways to go about repricing within Etsy. The price that we set in Etsy is what actually matters, not what we create here. What we do here is only just going to translate to the Etsy listing when it gets published, okay? Now, no, keep an eye on this column right here, this one, um, the third one over, because that shows us what we're paying Awkward Styles for fulfillment. You'll notice it goes up when we get to 2XL from 1225 to 1290. All right, so that increase of 70 cents, if we want to, we could offset it by just saying, all right, let's charge $22.99. And like I said, there's probably an increase in the shipping cost as well at 2XL. So we offset that by not just increasing by 70 cents, but by just a full dollar. And then we jump up to 1325 
here for the 3XL. So let's do 23.99. I actually was reading a profile on some print on demand shop owner that like one of the things they boasted about with their shop was that they didn't increase pricing for the larger sizes. So if that's something that you want to do, I mean, that's all, that's cool. I'd never even thought about it. Honestly, I thought it was an interesting concept. All right. So we've got our pricing set up here. All you have to do is click upload product and it's going to pop up in our Etsy shop in just a second. All right. The listing is published guys. You can go ahead and actually click the image, all right, the thumbnail right here, and it'll take you directly to your listing on Etsy. So check that out again. This is just a demo account and a demo shop. Uh, not my real shop in case you're wondering uh, and you can see here all of the kind of default images that we published the imperial size chart made its way here as well don't skip the next remaining steps which is like taking additional steps to optimize your listing um, even if we pretend that i took longer to optimize my title and tags and whatnot um, you would still want to polish up your thumbnails all right and most likely, like I said, add some additional images to your listing. Um, you get up to 10. So we haven't used all 10, for instance. You'd want to make sure you used all those uh, at a minimum. Like otherwise, you're really just doing the minimum. And a little bit more goes a long way. All right. Like we said, we're only competing in this case with this niche for about five to 10 sales a year. So it's not like you have to spend all day. But what I recommend is developing a formalized process. And that way, when you go through it, it's something that you've done before, you recognize it, and you can create your listing images for your Etsy shop um, extremely quickly because you're using, I mean, you can also share images across multiple listings as long as it's not dependent on having your design uh, itself in the images. So that's really it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Again, it's Awkward Styles, link in the description. The um, shirt that I saw that was trending is called the AS Color. 5001 check out income stream surfers youtube channel for more awesome content on things like seo and um, chat gpt ai tools etc how to use them in a practical sense to further your business efforts thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe and i'll see you at the next one